Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new Digital episode. This episode is going to be featuring Zack. As usual, if you end up enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like. But let's go right into his abilities. Zack's passive blobs that drop whenever he hits enemies with abilities have two ways of spawning. The first way is if there's no champion within about a thousand units of Zack and these blobs spawn closer to Zack and can be picked up instantly. The second way is of course if a champion is within 1000 units of Zack, the blobs spawn in between the two champions but closer to Zack. And on top of that, these specific blobs have a 1 quarter of a second delay before you can actually pick him up. One minor detail to notice about Zack is the fact that using his abilities does cost 4% of your current HP, while picking up your blobs on the ground heal 4% of your maximum HP. Thus meaning the lower health that you have, the more net HP you will regenerate. When taking into account how much health is used to cast an ability versus the health gained when picking up blobs. Whenever Zack dies, the blobs spawn are programmed as minions. This of course does mean you can use the default smite on the blobs and you can even use things like teleport, or abilities like a Nunu's consume. However, unlike minions, you cannot knock back the blobs and they also take 33% reduced damage from AoE abilities. And going off of that, Syndra seems to be the only champion that is able to displace the blobs thanks to her W. Did you know that if Zack's HP is higher than the base HP for his current level, his size will actually grow. And naturally on the flip side, if the bonus HP is lost, his model size will revert back to whatever size it should be based on the HP that you have. Things like a zillion ultimate or guardian's angel will activate first before Zack's passive. This is a very common question as many people are confused as to which one would activate first. A great combo to do with his abilities is while you are using your ultimate, you can still use your W while you're jumping around for added damage. But remember, W is the only ability that is castable while you are jumping with your ultimate. Zack's Q, W, and his E ability and even one damage tick of the ultimate can all be blocked by spell shield. But the cool thing is that he still spawns a blob even though the ability is blocked. Elastic Slingshot, Zack's E ability, has immense range and is able to pass terrain that most other dash abilities or summoner spells like Flash cannot. The range on Zack's Q ability versus the animation is very deceptive and is much longer than it actually looks. Alright guys, let's go into some cool facts and lore about Zack. The designer of Zack is someone named Sub Ninja, who seems to be a fairly new designer at Riot as he or she has only created one other champion, being Velkaz. A Rider has an easter egg of Zack as his forum icon and admits that he was teased in Battle Bunny Riven's artwork long before he was announced to the public. Here's the best fact ever. The sound effect for Zack's blobs or abilities was made from dog food and beans inside a condom being slapped against a wall. Yes, you did hear that correctly. In the Mac launch video, at a part you can see a green blob moving towards a Caitlyn's trap and the blob likely teasing at Zack. Did you know that Zack also stands for Zon Amorphous Combatant? And if you're unaware, Zon is a city-state in the League of Legends lore where many champions are from, such as Twitch and Victor. Zack's size, as mentioned earlier, can increase or decrease based on his HP, and this hidden passive may refer to the blob from a 1950s movie that grew based on how many people it's absorbed. As I mentioned earlier how smite and teleport etc can be used on Zack's passive blobs, this lists him as the only champion in the game to be able to be targeted by abilities otherwise not meant for champions whatsoever. An inspiration for Zack and his moves could have been from Rainbow Devil of Mega Man Zero. Another inspiration especially for his passive may have been from the Amiiboids from Ratchet and Clank. Let's go into Zack's lore. Zack is the product of a Zon experiment to make a super soldier maximum strength and plenty flexibility. He was created in a lab but was rescued by two loving parents that raised him to be a good child. This made Zack become a hero for Zon years later. The story behind that is as follows. He was created by two Zon scientists, a wife and a husband. They began noticing that this small blob they made responded to their presence and as if it showed emotions. This made them see it as more of a child, not an experiment, and thus treated it as such. They gave it a proper name, Zack, and raised it. Zack lived a happy childhood while being taught right from wrong, till one day the Zon lab kidnapped the two parents, 
forcing them to recreate Zack. For the first time ever, Zack unleashed his full power, saved his parents, and vowed to protect the innocent and the helpless. Have you noticed that Zack seems to be the only champion with two different laughing animations? One is him laughing like a madman, and the other is him looking around in a very shy sort of way. Zack's quote, I'm not as squishy as I look refers to the term squishy that players give to champions that are relatively easy to kill, while also referring to him being a squishy looking blob. Zack's other quote, I should get a suit, probably refers to Barney from How I Met Your Mother. And the final quote, Let's bounce, could either refer to the slang term meaning to head out, or to Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Original Zack's look could refer to the movie Flubber, that also features an amorphous creature. Special weapon Zack may resemble Plasmus from Teen Titan. At first, the skin was titled Grumpy Zack on the PBE and it probably refers to the writer I mentioned earlier named Grumpy Monkey, who had the Zack teaser as his forum icon. Alright guys, that unfortunately does mark the end of this episode of Did You Know featuring Zack. If you did enjoy, don't forget to throw in a like and share it with your friends. You can also suggest who you want to see for the next episode, or if you have any cool theories that you want me to go over, just make sure to leave a link. Also, definitely check out my other videos and previous episodes of the Digino series. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you for the next one. Peace.